when you got nothing to lose, you just keep going. Welcome back, everybody. More of The Walking Dead. Let's just try and stay safe and smart. We still got our kitchen knife on us. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. I never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Christos, the only one that we, we've got a prego, a gimp, and a one-armed man. <laughs> I think our odds are are slight. Oh, and we're out of ammo. There is that too. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Uh huh. <laughs> Going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just go nice and slow. Oh, okay. All right. It's interesting with the Walking Dead game that they're really almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. There really aren't that many. My Skype again. Challenging puzzles! Shit! Oh, oh boy. Fuck. Oh boy. <laughs> Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kinda fucked here. What are you gonna do? Uh. I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Uh... Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. <laughs> Dude, you... Oh my god. Oh. Pooper scoopers. Pooper scoopers. Dun da dun da 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 dun da da dun. Get out of here. One man killing crew. Who else wants some? Oh boy. Uh. 
Oh, oh. That's a lot of them. Well, we made it to the hotel. Love the atmosphere. Uh oh, sneeze. It's obviously keeping it closed. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. You shouldn't lie. Sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. Hmm. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. 
came back without him, and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. I wouldn't do that again. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. I fucked up. Yes, you did. How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh! I'm pressing cues. Oh, I, I purposely let him go because I didn't want to kill him. Bitch! Just go away! Die! Holy! Shit, Clem. I... 
It's okay. It's okay. I... Your arm's gone. <laughs> Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Which way out? Through there. wife or his daughter. My god. Goddamn insane. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. Just want to look around here, Clem. You want to grab the radio? sure they did this in the Walking Dead TV show. Sorry, sweetie. Oh, 
Oh boy. The balls that this kid would have to have is just incredible. Like I, I would, I, I'd be crapping myself right now. That that would just be poop smears. That's mom and dad, isn't it? That's mom and dad, isn't it? to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Oh, man, this game's killing me. I I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh I my I god. I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. What a true meal. It was hard. I don't know how you did it, but you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Oh my god, this is just. This is killing me. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. I can't. You don't have 
that much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I, I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Oh, my heart now. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that.
You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. That mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweetie. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. We... No. It's okay. It's okay. Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Oh, this is yeah, killing me. I do. <laughs> I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn. We met a girl. She'd been bitten, too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. I told me that Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. Oh my god. <laughs> They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> That hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also. Oh, man. What? What is it? Uh, that was pretty powerful. Definitely props to you, Telltale, for uh, for putting together a fantastic game. I guess my only complaint in the last episode, I, I understand they were trying to go for a a very emotional type of thing, and they they pulled that off well. I would have liked to have seen a bit more puzzle solving, but. Let's see. You would vote one one. All right. You defend the son in the drugstore. Oh, this is everything. Uh, you asked Ben to help you find Clementine. Okay. Told him he was a strange guy. You weren't wrong. <laughs> that was a that was a hell of a journey, folks. It it really was. It's the top, the crags and cliffs, the air is thin. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill Meet me where the snow melt blows It is there, my God dear, damn. where we'll begin again Skip and stop It's a beautiful job 
job. Really, really fantastic. I, uh... That my, my only complaint was I wish it was a little bit more puzzly. Uh, it seemed more interactive novel type of thing. But still, it was, uh, it was a fantastic journey. I do very much hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly, certainly love the track. And uh, it's a reason why I let's play. It's it's awesome sharing these experiences with you guys. It's awesome uh, just getting to, I guess, play. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of silly, but that's... You know, a lot of people ask me about how to get started in Let's Playing or anything like that. And I, I by no means am a big Let's Play or anything like that. But I would say that the most important thing is to just really enjoy it. Is to just sit back and really have a great, great time playing, and just love doing what you do. Um, and I just... I am curious to see if they do a... I, I've heard that they're going to do a season two of this. Um, yeah. I, I think Telltale should. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this was a big money maker for them, uh, and they wrote a fantastic story. So, again, folks, thanks for uh, thanks for sticking with me and enjoying this ride. It it truly was a incredible journey, and well, this is another game to throw on the completed shelf, and more to go. Mary perpetually pain in one's rear, Christensen. <laughs> and you. All the telltale pets. Max the dog. Peekaboo the cat. <laughs> it was a great, great journey, folks. And uh, I hope you continue to watch into the other stuff. I hope you uh, continue to enjoy. And I guess we don't. Do they have a season two? It's a good way to end it too. Those two walkers that Krista and Omid. It's a good way to end it. Well folks, thus ends The Walking Dead. As always, thank you very much for watching, and tune into the next Let's Plays. Thank you for watching everybody.